out to the trap as we all run back, back, lit is the out of here, out of here. Any man battle rap trap, and we definitely got the streets. D out again, D out of here, man. Put it on your YouTube. Out to the trap as we all back there. It's the out of Henny Man Battle Rap Trap, and we definitely got the streets. Okay, so I got this clip I want to play y'all from the Norbs versus URL court hearing. You know what I'm saying? He's going in to try to request certain things so that he can try to go forward with the case. And this is how it played out. That's, uh, we disagree with the court because in 2019 alone, Mr. Velez put in $50,000 worth of capital contributions to host events. There's nothing in the record that says he even got that back. So is, is a contribution analogous to a loss? As I would say a contribution is capital, but it can lead to a loss if that is not, if, if that investment is not returned, you know, at least at that amount or, or greater. It, this appears to be a very sad situation, to say the least. Um, we not only have what's purported to be an oral partnership agreement, but um, Mr. Velez would also share in the losses if the partnership took a hit. And it seems to be undermined by other things your client says with respect to uh, if they needed to raise capital, et cetera, et cetera. He, he, he goes on about that, which, which seems to suggest that there wasn't a uh, real formality with respect to these essential elements of a partnership. But you and I agree to do something and say, all right, we're going to share in the profits, but we're also going to share in the losses, okay? Is there any allegation here that that was the agreement between these parties, that that was stated clearly, and that that was the understanding that they were operating under? Well, I, I think the, the the inference that can be drawn from the complaint, well, and that's... You were here when we were talking I, about I understand, inferences I, earlier. I, I, <laughs> I, understand, I understand your honor. And, and just liberally construing the complaint, the expenses that Mr. Velez uh, pay for on behalf of the ultimate rap league were central to their operation so it wasn't but again that's capital that's not losses right and you're absolutely correct your honor i guess what i'm saying is that in order for us to even get to the point of establishing what losses were we would need to go to the discovery process and we're we're being cut off here because but, but why wouldn't your if there were losses to the partnership that were shared by all the partners we don't need discovery your client should know what those losses are I think that Un unless he wasn't truly a partner and wasn't privy to all the goings on of the business. I see my time is up, Your Honor, so I'll take my <laughs> Smart man. Okay, so what y'all just heard was Norb's lawyer. Now, URL's representative also had the opportunity to counter that and then Norb's lawyer spoke one more time. But pretty much the gist of it is this. They're trying to get the discovery so that they can look into specific numbers and this, that, and the other. And um, it doesn't sound like the judge is that impressed with their case to see said discovery because it was a verbal agreement. And uh, the way they're looking at it, I look at it like child support. I deal with child support, obviously. And child support says, hey, listen, if you pay through us, then it's documented and it can be used and, and represented. And if you give it directly to a baby mother, that's a gift. It sounds like because there's nothing contractual saying that uh, Norbs was putting this in and investing and willing to take the losses and all that, that they're not looking at it as an investment or looking at him as an official partner. They're looking at his money as a contribution, but that kind of falls into a gray area. They're admitting it's kind of sad, but it's between, you know, the parties. Now, what I do know, I've spent over $50,000 on my league, so I know that Norris figures are probably right. I don't know how $50,000 turned into a $80 million lawsuit or whatever it is, but it's not hard to spend $50,000 on Battle Rap. I also know that I've actually put money towards hiring Norbs to come to events and host events and all that. It was also brought up that he threw his own events and that uh, it's not documented how much he made or lost in those events. So it's a lot of gray area in this situation. Main gray area being is a handshake partnership. You know what I mean? So it's hard to even prove a lot of what's being alleged here. And I don't think it's looking good for Norbs if, if it's... Yeah, I'm on the outside looking at it. I don't think it's looking good for Norbs. It's also crazy to hear things like the YouTube interviews being mentioned and 
certain things being questioned, certain events being said and all that at such a high prestigious court level. Like, it's crazy, man. As a battle rap fan, you just never think you would see this type of stuff happening. I don't know about his lawyer. It seemed like his lawyer was a little bit nervous. He called time on himself. I think he still had a little bit of time to rap. And he said, listen, I'm good, Jersey. Um, but I will admit, and I'm going to put it out later, URL's lawyer definitely got a little bit of heat from the judge as well. So, yeah, you know I mean, we're going to see how this all plays out. And I'm not a lawyer or a judge or a professional. So if it's anything I'm missing here, y'all let me know in the comments, man. You know what I mean? It's Battle Rap Trap. We got the streets. Shout out to the trap as we are my back, back, lit. It's the out of here, out of here. Any man, battle rap trap, and we definitely got the streets. D out of here, man. D out of here, man. Put it on.